My name is Manal Siddiqui. I am uh, the manager for Clinical Trials Ontario. I'm basically responsible for overseeing the day-to-day -day operations at CTO, as well as supporting corporate projects that support the business strategies of the organization. The vision of CTO has been in play for the last 20 years. There have been initiatives that have come up and gone down and whatnot. So it's just the timing is right for Clinical Trials Ontario to now be there was a huge, large stakeholder consultation that included um, representatives from hospitals and different institutions that all came together and said, you know, there's certain processes that are delaying startup of clinical trials in Ontario. Because of that, we're losing investments from pharma and medical device companies and, you know, sponsors of clinical trials. So. We would like to set up a separate entity that would streamline those processes and basically change the system. CTO was created and um, I left the ministry to come in and help set up the business. As manager at Clinical Trials Ontario, what I find personally rewarding is the ability to work with some incredibly smart, dedicated people to achieve on projects that aren't really um, seen as being achievable in the time frames. Everything about Clinical Trials Ontario has been um, a systems changer, a game changer. When I graduated with my degree in life sciences from U of T, I decided to go to business school um, to do a year-long degree to understand business fundamentals because I wanted to play a role in ensuring that discoveries in the lab actually made it out. I did that degree in the UK and when I came back um, I found myself without a job for a very long time <laughs> um, and I was doing a lot of networking so I ended up at an event that was held right here at Mars. I was by the buffet table because I had no money for food so I would actually go to these events to have my dinner <laughs> and uh, I started talking to this gentleman who um, indicated he worked for the province of Ontario. He kept in touch over a two-year period and now I know two years is a long time but I went off and did a few other things while I was at it um, and I got a call two years later from him saying I know you've been in the life sciences while doing like volunteer work here there and the other um, would you consider coming and working for the government as an analyst uh, and I said, sure. So I went in to go work for the province uh, as the life sciences analyst. And I did the policy um, development for a clinical trial related initiative. Um, and that initiative became Clinical Trials Ontario that I then left the ministry to come in and manage. I love my job for the reasons that I'm juggling everything. No day is the same. Requests fly in from all over. It could be a data request. It could be a request for s a report, or we're going on site to conduct a review, or any number of things. My role in that would be to assign the task to someone and then try to understand what their priorities are, see if I can take some of that work on off from them and repurpose it to somebody else. Um, so it's constantly juggling and managing multiple priorities, but it's very much around analytical thinking, preempting a problem or anticipating what possible risks a certain action will take or will ha lead to, and then trying to figure out how to mitigate those risks by solving problems before they even happen. My professional experience, I worked in government, so I got a lot of the policy and the stakeholder management aspects of it. I have a business degree, so I got a lot of the finance and the accounting aspects of it. I have a life sciences undergrad, so I understood how institutions worked, how research functions. I think the degree in life sciences really helps me figure out how to think. It gives you exposure to different perspectives. So whether you did biochem or whether you did chemistry or whether you did biology, you can see the linkages 
and you can see one problem from like different angles. And I know I do that every single day. It's like there's a problem, all right, how would you see it from this perspective? How would you turn around, shift your focus a little bit and see from this perspective? How do these pieces fit in? So that's how the life sciences has prepared me for the job that I do today. The one element I haven't talked about is the importance of volunteering to my career. I got involved in volunteering a lot. I was your consummate volunteer. I would volunteer left, right, and center. That's what I did. Um, so anything I volunteered for, I had to make sure that I achieved what I hoped to achieve and then some more. Um, and a lot of that came back. So it, it's been a lifesaver. And a lot of the reasons why I came into these positions. I definitely would encourage students with no experience um, to reach out to a whole slew of these organizations that are out there um, to see if they can volunteer their time. Everything that you put into place, be dedicated and committed to seeing it through. So it didn't matter how menial the task was, I had to make sure that at the end of that, I had something that I was proud of achieving, having done that. I'm incredibly happy and incredibly blessed with where I work. I have a wonderful team that I've helped build. I have a wonderful job, and I work with incredibly smart, smart individuals, not just here, but I work with like all of Ontario's research and development mind capacity. That's like the coolest job ever.